winning. No gunshots, but they getting low, 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 getting. Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, back again with another video. And today we are going to be back on Westbridge Hills edited. Today we are going to get our second round of herbicide put down as well as try and get some water put down. Uh, I'm using a new Real Daylight mod. Uh, uh, Serious Mods released a version 2. So I'm using that. Uh, it's a lot better. It's This is way cool. Um, so we're going to start off this video. We are going to go ahead and trade in the old... Eight, the uh, old uh, Chevy 2500 and we're going to trade it in for a uh, new 1982 uh, Chevrolet K30 um, so currently uh, this is your second video for the day uh, by the time you're seeing this video my K30 has been released already um, but at this moment, I currently have the video uploading for that, so it has not been released as of yet. Uh, but, yeah. So, by the time you see this video, it will have been released, so make sure that you go check that out. Uh, that is the truck that we will be buying. So, we are going to... Ah, that's right, you can't direct sell that truck. I don't know why, but you can't. So, we're going to sell it for $250. And then we'll go over to cars, and now we have to decide which one we want. I think we'll go with the deep sea blue. And there we have it. Alright, let's go ahead and hop in it. Alright, let's drive over to the farm and let's get started on some more spraying. Let's see, I want to make sure my growth is off. Okay. We'll go ahead and pull up beside the shop here. Okay, so let's just run over here and check the field out. Okay, so we need to go to the next growth stage. So we're going to do just that. There we go. So let this do its thing, and we'll just kind of sit here and watch and wait. Um, I think we need to put down some water first. I think we'll put down some water and herbicide double B. Um, let's go ahead and get the soil mod reference sheet opened up. So yes, A and B, our water should be about 57, so yeah, a little bit more. Um, pH should be 6.8, and it is 7.3. Oh, and our sunflowers are at their next stage. Um, PK should be 4. 4 and 5 is what we should have, and we have 6 and 2. So, not going to be the greatest of yields, but... Uh, after harvest, we can work on that. Okay, let's go ahead and get some spraying done. We're going to put down the second herbicide as well as some water. We'll start off. We got to go fill the sprayer up and also switch to herbicide BB. Get this filled up. So in this video, we'll just be taking care of the spraying, and then tomorrow we will be combining. 
So we need herbicide BB, just like that. And let's rock and roll. $823, huh? So we need to get our GPS opened up again. Oops, wrong button. Meant to hit five. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get ready to take a screenshot here. This one we're uh, putting down some color. See, we shouldn't be withering anything different because we've already been on this track before, so should be no differences. Go ahead and grab a screenshot from this angle, just because that's kind of a cool angle, in my opinion, anyways. That's pretty neat. A little too close to the barn there. Alright. Here. So then after this, we just gotta put down some water. And uh, then it'll be ready for harvest. Hopefully we can make a few dollars off of this by field 17. Um, that would be a very nice addition to have. So we can go ahead and we can spray from ink here. Let's see, M is the weight, correct? Yes. And weight is what we want on this. Cars, nope. Oh, we got one, but we got time till that car. Whoa, come on, GPS, get your stuff straight. Yeah, this uh, real daylight is definitely a whole lot nicer than the old one. Uh, this is very, very well done. Uh, Sirius always does great work. It looks like it's kind of storming over that way. Uh, it does say that it's supposed to be cloudy here. Cloudy today and sunny tomorrow. So we'll have a nice, bright, sunshiny day for harvest. But a pretty dreary and cloudy day for spraying. But uh, that's okay. So now that the uh, K30 is done, I'm going to try and get the uh, Dodge Ram 3500 finished up next. Get that out, and then after that, whatever's next, uh, I have see the uh, cattle trailer that I bought uh, the circle circle J cattle trailer I bought from turbo squid uh, that is ready for scripting so might work on that getting that in game um, as I've said before that won't be released though um, anything that I pay for will not be released <clears throat> just because of uh, copyright issues. 
Um, let's see. My uh, ba ba ba. The Chandler twenty four RDT. Uh, tender trailer. I've got that ready. Just about. I just need to make the dynamic fill planes for it, and then that'll be uh, ready to go for scripting. Uh, the Oxbow, uh, 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 what is it? Seed corn harvester, or whatever it's called, um, that I bought from Polygonish. That thing is ready to go. Uh, just about. I just gotta finish separating a few things on it, and then it's ready to rock and roll as well. Um, yeah, and then I got a bunch of other stuff uh, that's ready to be worked on. So plus the map um let's see tomorrow uh let's see today and tomorrow so monday tuesday will be farm sim and then wednesday we'll be working on my map uh, we'll do some work on there and then thursday friday farm sim and then saturday sunday will be ats um might throw in some other videos as well uh, we just got dumped on with about a foot of snow last night. So, um, might, uh, see if I can get my one RC truck, uh, that I made some modifications to. See if I can get that thing, uh, to plow some snow. Uh, I did some, uh, modifications to it. Put, uh, snow chains on it. Uh, what else did I put on it? Uh, snow blade. And then, well, the snow blade did not quite work, though. I think I actually took that off. But, it was still pretty cool. Okay, so we'll get this thing filled up with some water. And then we'll go ahead and put down some water on, uh the field there we go let's rock on out of here and go ahead and get some water put down I think that we've still got plenty of time yep So then if there's still time in the video, after we finish spraying, I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get the combine and truck ready to rock. Um, so if there's still time at the end of the video, uh, that's what we'll do. So that way it's all ready for the next video. Otherwise, in the next video, uh, we will go ahead and get it uh, ready and then get combining. Winter storm warning. And it is still snowing. It snowed all night last night. Whoa, 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 whoa. Turn on again. There we go. Now we'll get some water put down and then uh, be good to go. I need to clean my computer screen. Holy smokes. All sorts of dust and stuff on it. <laughs> All right. Now comes the fun part of maneuvering around the barn again. Hey. Uh,
Okay, this isn't changing the ground any, but that's all right. Uh, we got GPS mod, so. Technically, I don't think, yeah, technically this tractor would not have GPS, but um, we're using it anyways. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> You can see the tractor is starting to get uh, a little dirty. I think we have one more stage to go. Let's just turn the map on here. Oh, that felt kind of warm. Ooh, it is 80 degrees in my room all of a sudden. Yikes. Yeah, so I think we're on the last growing stage here uh, with the sunflowers. Give me just one second, I'm going to shut this thing off. Yeah, it went from uh, 70 degrees to 82 degrees in my room uh, after I turned the heater on, so... Definitely warm enough in here now. Two more passes left, and then we are good to go with the sprain. That's the other nice thing about uh, using the same GPS course, is you don't wither anything extra. So that's definitely nice. I'll just go ahead and shut the map back off. Get uh, turn around here. Uh, stop right here. Just gonna take a look. Okay, so got some good nutrients. They aren't too terrible. Definitely won't uh, get the max yield but our yield could definitely be a lot better that's okay I guess <clears throat> all you gotta do is hope for a better season next year or all you gotta do is hope for better next season there we go we just got one uh Huge overlap pass left, and we're good to go. Or, not overlap, but a uh, huge empty spray area. And we will be done spraying until after harvest. Our pH right here is definitely a lot better. Um, I don't think that I needed to cultivate the lime in. I think I could have just let it sit uh, for a growth stage and then it would have been fine. But, yeah, because neutral is about what is what you wanted to say. So out here, everything is perfect, really, in the grass. But that's because the grass has not been touched by... You know, equipment and stuff by farming it and whatever. Uh, let's get that raised up before we take out somebody's car. And we'll go ahead and get... Uh, well, let's get this parked because we will have to spray after harvest as well. 
And we'll have to put down some PK and stuff like that. So we'll just leave this guy hooked onto the sprayer. And we'll just kind of pull him up over here where it was sitting before. And then we'll go ahead and get the uh, harvest equipment out and ready to rock. And then uh, tomorrow we'll be combining. Alright. Shut her down and away we go. Okay, so first things first. We gotta get the truck out. Uh -huh. I don't know if I can... Yeah, I'm just gonna back the International up a little bit and then we'll be able to sneak by it. We'll have to pull it all the way out of the shed. We'll go ahead and back this up, and then we'll get the combine, get the sunflower header, and we'll be all set to go. Sorry about that. Alright. Oops, I did not want to close that. <laughs> We're still going to get the header out of there. Okay, let's go ahead and get this door shut. Alrighty, I don't think, no, you can't do anything adjustment wise on the header. Alright, so we got our harvest crew ready and waiting to rock. Um, we'll run over here and get this door shut again. And then we'll just take a quick screenshot of the harvest crew ready to roll. And then uh, that'll pretty much do it. Just gonna bring up. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure to turn on. Make sure you turn on my post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Uh, make sure you check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Sorry, I had it written down on my phone because I'm going to try and get the same channel outro every time. So, getting used to reading that one. Alrighty, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.